A talk by Brendan Siecko on fundraising. Poland Most Active Seed Fund invites hand-selected companies to a series of closed events. Who is Brendan? The founder and CEO of Sponsor, a startup with the vision to transform the way people engage with art and culture at museums and beyond. So what is SAFE anyway? It stands for Simple Agreement for Future Equity, a better replacement for convertible notes. In a nutshell, it's introduced by Y Combinator in 2013. Fast to execute, keeps down legal costs, intended to replace convertible notes. Short and easy to understand. It's not debt and not a loan. Conversion to equity at a priced round. There's no risk of insolvency. It requires only five pages, therefore is short and easy to understand. What is so innovative about SAFE? When compared to convertible notes, SAFE is much simpler and doesn't have interest rate or maturity date. Reactions to SAFE are mixed. I've never seen this before. I'm trying to figure out if your investment structure allows me to get a certain tax treatment. The SAFE structure is a bit atypical, although more the norm now, especially within investors. Oh, you're using SAFE? Awesome! Tips before you start looking for an investor. Number one, find mentors and advisors. They provide advice, instructions, investment, and social proof. They care about your business as much as you do and will be able to provide you with valuable connections. Number two, start the process early. Fundraising is extremely time-consuming for CEO. It's crucial to plan the whole process as you'll find yourself fundraising for the next couple of months. Number three, iterate your pitch. Prepare a different set of pitches that you can use in certain situations. In other words, 20 second pitch, just enough information to grab attention. One minute pitch, give something to attract and explain briefly the idea. Five minute pitch, provide more details but do not bore the audience. Number four, find a lawyer that specializes in startup law. You don't have to know all legal nuances. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Number five, relate. When contacting an investor, try to find things that you two have in common. It shortens the distance and builds a nice foundation for longer relationship. Number six, warm versus cold introductions. Being referred to an investor by CEO of one of their portfolio companies will work much better than sending cold emails. Number seven, be persistent. Fundraising requires persistence. Do not give up. Keep following up until you receive the final answer. And lastly, not all advice is good advice. This animation is brought to you by Innovation Nest.